uh, welcome back uh, to the class of ninth chemistry. Uh, no, today um, in the previous classes we studied about organic compounds in organic chemistry. Uh, so after organic compounds and after organic chemistry, today our new topic is about that chemical bonding. About chemical bonding, what is chemical bonding? Okay. So first of all, you should know about the definitions of chemical bonding. That what is chemical bonding? Here I already wrote it. The definitions of chemical bonding that the force of attractions which are responsible to hold the atoms in the form of molecules or in the form of compounds. So we call it chemical bonding. No, <clears throat> chemical bonding is simply, you can say it is a force of attractions between two uh, same kind of atoms or different kinds of atoms. Okay, so we call it chemical bonding. Uh, no, why atom is going to form a bond? Because every atom needs stability in the universe. Just for example, if you think about it, the nature, so everything wants to be stable. So here is atoms also want a stability. That is why two atoms, same kind of atoms or different kind of atoms, chemically combined to gives us a special types of molecules. So we call it a bond. That is why atom is going to form a bond here. So here are three types, main types of chemical bonding. The first one is ionic bonds, and the second one is covalent bond, and the third one is metallic bonds. The ionic bonds, first of all, we will discuss about it, ionic bonds here. That what is ionic bonds? Okay, ionic bonds is, you can so define it very easily in a different ways. The first way, the force of attraction between metals and non-metals. The force of attraction between metals and non-metals. So here I'm going to write it down their examples. If you have a metal sodiums, which belong to group number first in the periodic tables. And here you have another atom which we call it chlorines. Chlorine atoms are chlorine molecules. You can also write it down in this form. So this is a metal and this is a non-metals. When they attract each other, so here a compound will be formed NaCl, sodium chloride is formed. So the force of attractions between uh, metals and non-metals, the force of attraction between metals and non-metals, so we call it mm, now ionic bonds. No, in other ways, in other words, you can also define it very easily that the force of attractions between cations and anion. Here you can see metal, this is metal, this metal is plus signs. Why it is plus signs, plus one charge here? It, we call it cations. Cation means positive charge particles. Cation means positive charge particles. And here you have chlorines minus charge particles, minus one. So we call it anions. Anions, they are called uh, negative charge particles, they are called anions. No, positive and negative, they have a force of attractions. So when they have attract each other, so as a result, sodium chloride will be formed. NaCl will be formed. So opposite charge attract each other here. Why sodium is going to form a plus one and why chlorine is going to form a negative one? Minus charge. Because sodium belongs to group number first and uh, their atomic number is 11. The atomic number of sodium is 11. The atomic number of sodium is 11. So in the first shell, there are two electrons. In the second shell, there are eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the last shell, there are one electron. So right now, this sodiums want a stability here. When it is lose one electrons from the last shell, so by eight electrons, it become a stable. When it is lose one electron, so as a result, this sodium atoms will become plus one charge. By losing one electron, sodium will become plus one charge. No, here if you have a, a chlorines, uh, here I'm going to draw the structures of chlorine atom as well, uh, because <coughs> Uh, you should know about the electronic configuration of chlorine atom as well. So chlorine is here. The atomic number of chlorine is 17 here. Okay. So in the first shell of chlorine atoms, there are two electrons. In the second shell, there are eight electrons. In the last shell, there are seven electrons. 
these are their arrangements. You can see that right now, this chlorine atom is not gonna to lose seven electrons at a time. It can gain one electron very easily. When it gain one electron, so as a result here will be a minus charge will become. So we, from where it will gain one electron? From sodium atoms. When it is gain one electron from sodium atom, so as a result, this chlorines, from chlorine atoms, it will become chloride ions. So the sodium ions and chloride ions, they attract each other. So as a result, a compound is formed, which we call it sodium chlorides, NaCl. So such type of bonding is called ionic bonds. What we call it? Ionic bonds. Ionic bonds. So there are so many definitions for ionic bonding. The force of attraction between metals and non-metals. The force of attraction between cations and anions, uh, the complete transfers of electron from one atom to another atom, we call it ionic bonds. So here uh, <coughs> you have uh, some more example here. If you think about it, magnesium chloride, MgCl2, this is also ionic compounds. If you think about it, calcium chloride, CaCl2. Okay, so many sodium oxides, calcium oxides, calcium chlorides. So <coughs> you should think about it, their examples. So I think it is enough for ionic bonds. Next time we will talk about coilant bonds. See you, bye bye.